A prisoner aboard the Silence, Yara asks Yoran why he has not killed her, to which Yoran sarcastically remarks upon their familial status as the last living Greyjoys, excluding Theon due to his castration. In addition, he prefers her company over his tongueless crewmen. She correctly assumes they have returned to King's Landing, having ferried the Golden Company from Essos to fight for Cersei. She rebuffs an offer of drink from her uncle, before stating that he has picked the losing side. However, Euron arrogantly states that he will simply leave the Queen of the Andals should it come to that, but he will lay with her first. While Euron is distracted in the Red Keep, with Cersei finally giving in to his lust following Jaime's departure, Theon and his remaining Ironborn sneak aboard. After silently murdering members of Euron's crew, they find Yara inside the ship. He awkwardly unties her before she hauls herself to her feet and knocks him to the ground with a headbutt, due to his earlier abandonment of her. However, she then drags him back up, and the two share a mutual look of respect between each other. The two then make their escape, dividing their minimal forces across Theon's three ships. Yara decides to retake the Iron Islands, since they are virtually unprotected while Yoron is away, as well as providing Daenerys with a final stronghold should the dead overrun Westeros. Theon, however, states that he will follow his queen, and Yara realizes he wants to fight in the north. Having done his duty to house Greyjoy, she allows him to leave. At Daenerys's war council on Dragonstone, Varys confirms that Yara has retaken the Iron Islands. With Euron being slain by Jaime in the Battle of King's Landing, Yara is the undisputed queen of the Iron Islands and last living Greyjoy. After the assassination of Daenerys, Yara takes part in the trial of Jon. She tells the gathering to let the Unsullied decide his fate. Arya threatens to kill her if she demands killing Jon again. Davos, however, defuses the situation before it gets out of hand. Tyrion advises the Lords of the Seven Kingdoms to choose a new king. When the gathering doesn't nominate anyone themselves, he recommends Bran Stark as the nominee. Yara joins the others in assenting to that proposal. By the time of Bran's proclamation as king, Yara styled herself as the Lady of the Iron Islands, the region having been reincorporated into the Six Kingdoms.